The operator of a disabled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant says attempts to cool the facility's number two reactor through water injection continue as we speak, but that temperature in the facility remains high. But the firm says the reactor is in a state of cold shutdown. The Tokyo Electric Power Company, or TEPCO, says a thermometer at the bottom of the reactor read above 73 degrees Celsius on Monday morning. The temperature has risen more than 20 degrees in the past four days. Spokespeople say two other thermometers in the reactor have stayed at 44 degrees. TEPCO has been injecting more than 10 tons of water per hour into the reactor. The firm says the temperature rise indicates that the flow of water may have changed direction after plumbing work was carried out, disrupting the cooling system. But the utility says radioactive xenon has not been detected in gases around the reactor and that nuclear criticality is not taking place. TEPCO says it will increase the amount of water being injected into the reactor to see if it cools. The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant is injecting more water into the number two reactor. Tokyo Electric Power is trying to cool the facility after the temperature inside unexpectedly rose. The temperature is still about 25 degrees Celsius higher than it used to be. A thermometer at the bottom of the reactor had shown readings of around 45 degrees until January 27th. Then temperatures gradually rose to over 70 degrees. TEPCO began injecting more water into the reactor on Monday. The utility further increased the amount of water by about 30 percent early Tuesday morning to 13 and a half tons per hour. So far, TEPCO says the additional water has lowered the temperature by only a few degrees. The plant operator says plumbing work may have affected water flow inside reactor number two. TEPCO's aim is to keep the reactor in a state of cold shutdown. This requires that the reactor's internal temperature remains below 80 degrees. Cleanup at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant has hit more snags. The plant operator is trying to contain newly discovered water leaks. Tokyo Electric Power Company says it's found two new leaks from systems at the plant. About 30 liters of water have escaped. Company's officials say none of the leaked water has spilled into the sea. The company had already found leaks in 14 other parts of the plant. Nearly eight tons of water escaped. They say all the leaks were probably caused by water freezing and expanding in cold water. Workers will try to prevent more leaks by patrolling the plant on cold mornings and wrapping insulation around pipes and equipment. Tokyo Electric Power Company says it has successfully lowered the temperature inside the number two reactor at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. TEPCO had been struggling to deal with rising temperatures inside the reactor. A thermometer on the bottom of the reactor read 45 degrees Celsius on January 27th, but rose to over 70 degrees on Sunday. The cause is unknown, and the two other thermometers inside the reactor registered little change. TEPCO said it began pumping more water into the plant on Tuesday. It boosted the rate of injection to 13.5 tons per hour. The company says the internal temperature at 5 a.m. Wednesday had dropped 5.5 degrees from a day earlier. The current rate of injection is the highest since just after the crisis began last March. TEPCO says the temperature inside the reactor rose slightly at 10 a.m. but is still dropping overall. The utility cannot determine the precise situation inside the reactor or the cause of the temperature rise. It says it plans to maintain the current rate of water injection. Tokyo Electric Power Company says the temperature has risen again inside the number two reactor at the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant.
while one of the thermometers at the bottom of reactor number two rose to more than 73 degrees Celsius on Tuesday, the utility successfully lowered the temperature after injecting more water. However, from Friday night to Saturday morning, the thermometer detected an increase to 71 degrees Celsius. Two other thermometers in different locations on the bottom of the reactor continued to read 35 degrees Celsius. TEPCO says it will continue to monitor the situation closely as it believes the reactor is still in a state of cold shutdown. The utility says it will consider adding more water in if the temperature rises any further. Tokyo Electric Power Company says one of the thermometers in the number two reactor at its Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant exceeded 80 degrees Celsius on Sunday afternoon. 80 degrees is used as a benchmark to check whether a state of cold shutdown is in effect. But the utility insists that state is being maintained because other thermometers in the reactor register low temperatures. The thermometer in question at the bottom of the reactor began to rise late last month, prompting TEPCO to increase the injection of water into the reactor. Although the reading temporarily declined, it started to rise again and peaked at 82 degrees at 2.20 p.m. on Sunday. This is the first time a temperature reading has exceeded 80 degrees Celsius since the government and TEPCO declared last December that the reactors had achieved cold shutdown. TEPCO noted two other thermometers installed at the same height show temperatures of around 35 degrees. It also says a study of air samples collected around the reactor shows no signs of nuclear criticality occurring at the unit. TEPCO is increasing the volume of water into the reactor and looking into the cause, including a possible thermometer malfunction. The company says it will carefully monitor the reactor and will not rule out the possibility that its temperature might actually be rising. Tokyo Electric Power Company says a faulty thermometer is likely to blame for the rising temperature at the disabled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. One of the thermometers inside the number two reactor started to show high readings late last month. The temperature exceeded 80 degrees Celsius, the critical level, on Sunday. It rose to 94.9 degrees at noon on Monday. The utility says it thinks the thermometer is broken. Two other instruments in the reactor showed that the temperature dropped to about 33 degrees. A cable inside the thermometer is probably cut, resulting in a false reading. But since the actual temperature is below 80 degrees, we think the conditions are okay.